welcome back to my channel today we're gonna to be making this creamy potato dish with stir fries and salmon if you like to see how this recipe is achieved please stay tuned so for this recipe I'll be using salmon you want to make sure you wash and clean and dry the salmon before using it I'll also be using sliced mushrooms for this recipe I'll be using one large sweet potato coconut cream this is my first time trying out this cream so I hope it tastes good I'm also gonna be using mini carrots I'll be using spring onions for frying, salt, I'll also be using garlic granules and ground ginger. I'm also going to be using paprika for this recipe and chili powder, though it's in the midst of calm, but it's chili powder. And I'll also be using baby plum tomatoes. And I'm also going to be using one stock cube for this recipe, it's unsalted butter for frying and onion for frying too. So the first thing I'll be doing, I'll be marinating my salmon because I'll be frying it later. So I'm just using one tablespoon of olive oil and one tablespoon of honey. I like adding this to my marinade, it's very good. And I'm also going to be adding about a teaspoon of parsley. And if you're new to my channel, please support me by subscribing to my channel as I upload new recipes every week. And I'll be glad to have you in the Morgan's Meals family. Don't worry, there will be a list of these ingredients. That I'm using for marinating my salmon on the description box so you can just check there for a list of the ingredients used in this recipe so right now I'm just gonna be adding black pepper I'm just drizzling it all over the fish and I'm also gonna be adding the dry thyme to the fish I'm also drizzling it all over and I'll be adding fish seasoning this seasoning is very good trust me you like the seasoning it's very good for fish and I've been using it for a while now and I'm also gonna be using salt to marinate also and I'll be using paprika for this recipe too I'm just drizzling it all over the fish and I'm also gonna be using ground ginger you can use whatever ingredients you have at home I'm just li I like using these ingredients that's why I'm using it so now I'll just be adding light soy sauce to this I like the taste it gives to this fish and I'm also gonna be adding dark soy sauce so I'm using two different type of so soy sauce for this recipe and now I'm just gonna be adding um stock cube i'm just drizzling it all over too i'm just making sure it gets properly incorporated to the fish and now i'll be rubbing the fish with my hands to make sure all the ingredients are properly incorporated with both sides of the fish and make sure it's properly evenly distributed so i'm just rubbing it and i'll be flipping it to the bottom to the first side to make sure it gets marinated and i will cover it and allow it to rest while i continue with this recipe so the next thing I'll be doing, I'll be cutting my potatoes. It really takes a lot of strength to cut these potatoes, you know, because it's very big and it's very hard. So you want to make sure you cut the potatoes to the size you want to achieve for this recipe. That's why I'm just cutting it into different sizes. If you want a smaller size, you can achieve a smaller size, but I'm just making sure it goes to the perfect size I want for this recipe. So next, I'm just going to be peeling it because and while peeling it just make sure to remove some parts that seems dead and don't look good from the potatoes so they come out looking clean and beautiful you can see how colorful these potatoes look i love the look of these potatoes so after uh, removing the peas you want to make sure you wash the potatoes and set it aside while we continue so in my pot i added a tablespoon of butter and now i'm adding my chopped onion and spring onion and i'm just going to be sauteing it for about two minutes and I'm adding my garlic granules right now and I'm mixing it to make sure the ingredients are properly incorporated together so now I'll just be adding basil to this onion that is already cooking and a little bit of paprika to this I'll also be adding chili this is optional you can choose to remove this from it by like adding chili to make sure it's a little bit spicy and I'm just sauteing it to make sure the ingredients are incorporated now I'm just adding the carrots and the baby plum tomatoes to the recipe and I'm just giving it a good mix to make sure they're properly incorporated with the rest of the veggies on fire and they get a little bit cooked. So I'm just adding a little bit of water to make sure it doesn't get burnt because I want the carrots to get a little bit cooked before I add the next ingredient. So I'm just sauteing it to make sure it gets cooked a bit. So right now it has been cooking for about two to three minutes. I'm just gonna be adding the next ingredient for this recipe. I'm just gonna be adding a little bit of 
mix peppers that's yellow and red peppers and just mixing it and i'll be adding the coconut cream look how lovely that looks and i'm also going to be adding a little bit of water so you want to add enough water that will be enough to cook the potatoes and now i'm adding a little bit of salt to taste and one stock cube as well so i'm just going to be mixing it to make sure it's properly incorporated together with the rest of the recipe and i'm going to be giving it a taste you want to taste it to make sure your ingredients are okay and if it's okay you can carry on with this recipe so allow the ingredients to boil and now i'm just adding the potatoes into different sections of the pot to allow them to cook easily and i'm just giving it a good mix again before i'll be covering this thing and allow it to cook So now my potatoes are cooking, I'm just going to the next part of this recipe which is the stir fry. So into a pan I added about a tablespoon of butter, I'm just melting the butter completely before adding the next ingredient and now I'm just going back to check on my potatoes and see how they are doing, changing the positions and giving them a good mix as well. And now back to my stir fry I added my chopped onions to the butter and I'm just sauteing it and now I'm adding um, the carrots to the onion and I'm adding baby plum tomatoes as well and I'm just gonna be sauteing it trust me you have to stand for a very long time because this stir fry requires you to stir and stir so now I just added my sliced mushrooms and I'm still gonna be giving it a good stir again so back to my potatoes I'm gonna be using the fork to check if they are cooked and I'm also using the fork to flip it to the other side of the potatoes so they get cooked. Each one I'm just giving it a little flip to make sure each side get cooked correctly. And I'm just coming back to my stir fries and mixing it because I don't want the stir fry to get burnt. So I'm giving a good mix. I'm adding uh, mixed peppers right now to the stir fries. And I'm also adding a little bit to my creamy potato dish and I'm giving it a good stir too. If you're still watching and you've not subscribed to my channel, Please support me by subscribing to my channel as I upload new recipes every week and I'll be glad to have you in the Mogus Mills family. So I just added black pepper and salt to my stir fry and I'm giving it a good mix as well. So you want to add salt to taste so it doesn't come out tasting bland and give it a good mix. So I'm going back to my potatoes after about 10 minutes on that medium heat and I'm checking it and they look a little bit cooked so I'm just going to reduce the gas and saute them for a bit before checking it again so like I said you're gonna go back and forth from one dish to another so I'm just checking my stir fry and giving it a good stir making sure it doesn't get burnt and now look at my potatoes the cream has reduced in size you can see how lovely this looks and you can see the potatoes are cooked right now so I just came back to my stir fries and giving the good stir <laughs> in order not to get burnt and just make sure it gets cooked and checking back my potatoes they are cooked so i'm just turning off the gas because this dish is cooked and the stir fry is cooked as well so the next thing i'll be doing i'll be frying my salmon that has been marinating for a while so i add sunflower oil to my pan and i'm just going to be frying it for the back side first to make sure the back side get cooked and in order not to get burnt so i'm using the back side first and if you're still watching please give this video a thumbs up so that other people can still see this video and enjoy this creamy potato dish recipe so i'm just using my frying spoon to lift the edges a bit to make sure i can get through to the fish and i noticed my fish has already got burnt because it's stuck to the fish to the pan so i'm just going to flip it and make sure this other part gets cooked so you want to put this on low heat and allow this to cook for a while and as you can see as i'm doing i'm using my frying spoon to give it a nudge to make sure it doesn't get stuck to the pan like the way the back side did so i'm just giving it a nudge reducing my gas to low heat and make sure this thing cooks for um, for like five minutes on that low heat you want to make sure it gets properly cooked and each side is cooked so right now i'm just gonna be removing it because it's done you can see my salmon is looking good and i'm done with this dish look how lovely the salmon looks so this is how my recipe looks like this is my creamy potato the stir fry the salmon it's so yummy trust me you love this dish thank you for watching